Welcome to this episode of our program Daily Debate. As usual, we will be discussing important uh, topics. Tonight we'll be focusing on two important uh, sectors for the Egyptian economy, the industry and tourism. Those are two important uh, components contributing significantly to the uh, economy of uh, Egypt and uh, the economic strategies, thus the state's vision 2034 uh, sustainable development. Today we'll be speaking about those two important uh, topics, industry and tourism, in light of the President, today inauguration of the second phase of the silo food company in Sadat City in Monofaya Governorate and the messages of which he sent uh, in the inaugural uh, um, in the inaugural ceremony will be uh, highlighting uh, tourism and, and 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 the tourism industry and sector in our second segment so we'll be speaking about that in light of the latest report of the central uh, uh, bank which spoke about the revenues of tourism and uh, at the same time the uh, minister of tourism's stra uh, strategy uh, towards tourism uh, hoping to reach uh, more than 28 uh, million uh, visitor or uh, tourists uh, until the year 2028 we'll be speaking about that in our second segment but before we start with our uh, first segment, let's have a quick look on this uh, report. And President Sisi inaugurates the second phase of the silo food company in Sedat City. Let's watch. President Fatah Sisi inaugurated on Thursday the second phase of Silo Foods Factory for Food Industries in Sadat City in Minofaya Governorate. The event was attended by Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouni, Minister of Defense Mohammed Zaki, and a number of ministers and top officials. Speaking during the event, the President said the National Service Projects Authority is ready for partnership to achieve its goals. President Sisi asserted that the NSPO abides by fair competition rules with its companies paying all state dues, including water and electricity bills, as well as taxes. The President stressed in his comments today that the government is ready to list more companies on the bourse or engage in partnership with the private sector. He also called for increasing the number of students who benefit from the school nutrition projects and for boosting production to this end. Speaking during the event, the President said the National Service Projects Authority is ready for partnership to achieve its goals. He asserted that the NSPO abides by fair competition rules with its companies paying all state dues, including water and electricity bills, as well as taxes. The President stressed in his comments today that the government is ready to list more companies on the bourse or engage in partnership with the private sector. He also called for increasing the number of students who benefit from school nutrition projects and for boosting production to this end. The President noted that anything that will be manufactured for citizens will be done in accordance with international national health and food safety standards. He also said strategic commodities are available and the government maintains the necessary precautions constantly. He also said efforts must be intensified to control markets and commodity prices. President Sisi also said no contract will be concluded with any food company unless it is reviewed by the Food Safety Authority. The president added the state needed to develop various sectors even if they did not generate returns in the short term. Minister of Supply said that Egypt is implementing a comprehensive strategy to provide basic commodities, pointing out that there is safe strategic reserve of basic commodities. Chairman of the national contracting company, Karam Salem, said that 850 Fadden Food Industry City Houses, a 25 Fadden Dairy Factory, 120 Fadden Factory Complex, in addition to 560 Faddens of future expansions. The first stage of the Silo Foods Industry City was inaugurated in August 2021, which included the flour mill grinders and 14 silos with a storage capacity of 17,000 tons of wheat, factory for school nutrition biscuits, pasta, factory bakery, factory in addition to administrative and service facilities.
Egypt's silo foods industry city has been named by the Guinness World Record as the largest distributor of school snack packages in less than a year from September 2021 until June 2020 with more than 6 million packages. Earlier, Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli said 32 Egyptian state companies will be listed on the AGX or sold to strategic investors within a year in accordance with the aims of the recently adopted state ownership policy document that targets the creation of a larger role of the private sector in the economy. According to the Prime Minister, the government intends to list 25% of the asset value of these 32 companies in the bourse within six months during the inauguration ceremony the president said we are keen on good relations with everyone right welcome back and uh, to highlight the inauguration today and the messages sent by the president during the inaugural uh, ceremony we have with us over the phone dr said al economic expert good evening to you dr Khouli. good evening ma'am Right. So uh, we followed together today the inauguration of the president of the uh, Silas Food uh, Company. This uh, company, which has taken the, uh, the Guinness record in the um, students' uh, uh, um, uh, uh, food uh, or uh, um, um, uh, uh, um, um, supplements or, or this box that was made by the government for uh, to feed the uh, students um, let me here take first you reading to the inauguration of the second phase of this uh, 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 of this company and how significant is uh, uh, the uh, state giving to the industry sector uh, if you recall in your program uh Three years ago, to be exact, 2019, uh, when President Sisi spoke about introducing force industrial revolution. Uh, force industrial revolution, it means a fully automated uh, manufacturing facility. And that's what we saw today. What we saw today is a fully integrated technology. It's a fully computerized technology represented in by Hilo Foods which it really considered to be one of the state-of-the-art manufacturing facility uh, in Africa and in the Middle East. Uh, remember, when we talk about industrial sector, uh, the return of investment and the return, we can see it in the ground. It takes a cycle time from three to five years. And after three years, we start seeing the fruit of our strategy with this kind of uh, manufacturing facility which started uh, a year ago with the first phase, and today we saw the second phase. And in the near future, after eight months, we'll see the third and the last phase uh, in one of the uh, food industry, which it feeds a lot of people and will be able to uh, accomplish the food supply for Egyptian people. And remember, uh, this manufacturing facility, it gained uh, a lot of quality awards worldwide. We have uh, the quality award, a quality certificate from all different international institutions. And we'll be able to supply our local uh, needs and we'll be able to export the excess for our neighbor country and for Africa. And by this way, we'll be able to increase the hard currency for Egyptian uh, economy and we'll be able to uh, reduce our deficit in the future. Usually, Dr. Khouli, uh, the president take uh, uh, statements or put some statements while inaugurating or while in uh, special events to address not only uh, 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 those uh, attendants, but also to put the whole nation uh, uh, on the path Egypt is passing by. Today, uh, the president uh, addressing attendance and at the same time giving some statements for people to understand uh, the situation. Uh, uh, we've heard some of the president's statements focusing on some important points. How do you read the statements by the president? Uh, the president CC really issued several uh, and very important messages for Egyptian people not to listen to the rumors in the Facebook and so on, 
Remember, what we suffer today, it's not only Egypt, but the rest of the world uh, really suffer from uh, the virus for Corona COVID-19 for two years, and now we are hit by the supply chain, world supply chain, and material supply, uh, and the logistics for, uh, uh, due to the war between Russia and the Ukraine, which is affect the uh, material and the supply chain among the rest of the world. It's not only Egypt, but the whole world is really suffer this day for shortage of material, for shortage of raw material, and the component parts which depend on our manufacturing facility. We have to be patient, and that is the second message from President Sisi, is to be patient and we'll see the fruits of investing. Uh, also, President Sisi, uh, he doesn't really focus on only governmental uh, project, but also he would like to integrate the private sector in order to work hand on hand, in order to improve our economic situation. The third message uh, for President Sisi today, which he really opened uh, the, uh, the idea of attracting foreign direct investment to come and invest in Egypt. I believe, and as I mentioned before in your program several times, Egypt will be hub for industrial sector in the uh, count, uh, in African continent and will be able to, uh, in the future, in the very near future, will be able to be the uh, manufacturing hub for, uh, for Africa uh, because of our location, because of our logistic facility, because of the surplus of our uh, uh, elect, uh, uh, power supply, because of the infrastructure which we all Egyptians see it in the ground right now. It takes time for industrial sector to be able to really uh, uh, manufacture and produce the product and service. And also, when President Sisi went to Eastern Europe, uh, not only uh, food industry, but all different uh, kind of industry. Remember, we have a manufacturing facility now in Upper Egypt, in Aswan, in Suhag, which we saw last month, in Rubeki, for example, and uh, in Dumyat City for uh, furniture uh, hub for, and we will be able to really export our product abroad. Uh, we are, uh, the, the government and President Sisi strategy is to work on all different uh, governments in Egypt, from our Egypt to all different cities. And what we saw today in, in Monofia, in Sadat City, which is really a significant impact in order to reduce unemployment rate and to improve the quality of life. Mm. Also, President Sisi issue today the social responsibility initiative where 600 million uh, uh, meals produced for uh, our students in public schools and which gained genus uh, certificate today. Remember, uh, we are a model for social responsibility in the, in the entire world. And Janet Award, it doesn't give it for anybody, but for the people who are, who are six times what happened before from any developed country. Right. Uh, here, we're speaking about the uh, Guinness record that is being given to such a company because of the packages, the food packages that were given to students. It's the biggest ever. Uh, uh, here I have to address other uh, uh, important messages that were given by the president. He spoke about uh, the strategic storage of basic uh, commodities that we have and uh, that they are untouchable. He spoke also about uh, uh, the uh, import uh, the, that the, the, the strategic uh, 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 or that the state is is committed to providing strategic uh, goods despite all the hard economic conditions and uh, the uh, uh, prices in the market. And the president himself called on people to boycott merchants who raise prices without uh, valid reasons. Uh, also, uh, he spoke about uh, um, the importance of uh, exporting and narrowing the gap between exportation and uh, uh, and, uh, and important uh, important uh, 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 issues now when we speak here about those messages addressed to people 
Uh, how do you view the uh, 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 government's efforts in order to reduce the gap between the experts, or rather the imports and the uh, exports? Uh, remember, remember, we really, it is the time to change our consumption behavior. Mm. Uh, our consumption behavior, we, we, we buy uh, in excess for what we need. And when the president say we should boycott all different merchants who are hiring price and uh, taking advantage for uh, whatever price we have, that is not for the regular citizen in Egypt. And really, uh, really, uh, as you can say, uh, with Dr. Moselhi, for example, in his speech, uh, the regular price or the item price is for 12 pounds, and the merchant sell it for 22 pounds. And that is really taking advantage of whatever is happening, whether it's the exchange rate, whether it is a, a shortage in supply, and you take advantage of that. And this is CC message is simply not to listen to rumors in the Facebook, not to listen to all negative impact with the Egyptian government uh, uh, have right now uh, in negative uh, against the Egyptian government. We are in the same place and we have really uh, enough storage or enough inventory from our basic needs, which it will satisfy our needs, not only for Ramadan, which is coming in a month and a half, but for the next six months, we have a surplus, we have a food supply, which will be available for Egyptian people, for all Egyptian people, with all different levels for another six months, which is simply, uh, uh, it gives us the motive in order to increase this uh, food supply in the future. We are not in the crisis, we are really working, uh, the government working very hard and the leader of Egypt working very hard in order to meet any shortage, whether in the food supply, whether in gas, whether in electricity, and so on. Remember, we've been facing uh, different crises during 67, and it was really worse than that, and we didn't even have uh, a, food, a, a, a huge deficit in our food supply, but Egyptian people really stand hand on hand in order to uh, get rid of any uh, crisis and in challenges. We Egyptian people really, uh, we are united behind their leadership. Egyptian people, we are really, uh, can work out in order to go through any, any crisis. It happened in 1967, right. during my lifetime, it happened in, in 73, and we survived. So Egyptian people, we should really change our consumption behavior. We should really uh, uh, stand behind our government in order to go through whatever is happening uh, these days. Right. Dr. Uh, Saeed Al-Khouli, Economic Expert, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, definitely the president has dif uh, different uh, messages and uh, ended with calling on the private sector to uh, um, contribute more to uh, uh, um, the um, uh, to the Egyptian economy, citing the incentives and uh, the uh, golden license, as well as other measures taken by the government in order to attract foreign direct investment, whether the Egyptian or the international, to uh, uh, Egypt. Also highlighting the uh, role of the private sector and m to make the best use uh, of the industrial zones and complexes with the aim of establishing uh, successful and sustainable Egyptian industrial entities. That uh, was uh, the first part of our uh, uh, episode today. Moving on to our next uh, segment and Egypt hopes to double tourist figures from 25 to 30 million per year by 2028. That is according to uh, the uh, minister. Before we uh, move on uh, with our discussion, let's first have this quick report. And the Central Bank of Egypt says $4.1 billion in tourism revenues during the first quarter. Let's watch.
The Central Bank of Egypt revealed in the balance of payments report that tourism revenues rose by 43.5 percent to record 4.1 billion U.S. dollars compared to 2.8 billion dollars during the same of last year. The CBE said that this is mainly attributed to the rise in the number of tourist nights by 47.1 percent to 43.6 million. There have also been rises in the number of tourist arrivals to Egypt by 52.2 percent to register 3.4 million. There have also been rises in the number of tourist arrivals to Egypt by 52.2 percent to register 3.4 million. Over the past few years, Egypt's tourism sector, a main source of national income and hard currency for the country, has been greatly affected by many factors. Tourism gradually recovered in the past years to bring Egypt a record uh, high of $13 billion in revenues in 2019, when more than 13 million tourists visited the North African country before tourist numbers declined again because of COVID-19 lockdowns. The ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict has also cast a shadow on Egypt's tourism as the two countries have been among top sources of tourists to the country, boosting many historic monuments. Minister of Tourism Ahmed Aisa indicated that the government is currently giving a lot of incentives to the private sector to double tourist traffic coming to Egypt, expressing hopes to double this figure to reach 25 to 30 million by the year 2028. The minister's remarks came to illustrate the government's strategy to promote tourism over the next five years.